Um, my name is Chika E.K. and I'm from Braveman Church Assemblies of God. Um, the verses I have for you today in my short sermon is Jeremiah 1 verse 5 to 8 and Jeremiah 3. Today I want to talk to you about a prophet in the Old Testament that goes by the name of Jeremiah. You see, Jeremiah had faced numerous challenges and trials throughout his life. Yet he remained steadfast in his relationship with God. You see, he never gave up, he never lost faith, and he might have ran away, but he always came back. It says, Jeremiah's 1 verse 5 to 8, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Alas, sovereign Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak. I am too young. But the Lord said to me, do not say I am too young. You must go to everyone I send you to and say whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you. One of the key aspects of Jeremiah's relationship with God was his unwavering trust and obedience. From a young age, God had called Jeremiah to be a prophet, and despite his initial feelings of inadequacy and fear, Jeremiah trusted in God's plan for his life. God ensured that Jeremiah would be with him and would give him the words to speak. Ever since I established my club on my campus, I felt like God would be telling me not to give up, not to lose hope, and to remain steadfast. At first it was hard, and I always felt left out, but there were some times where I was stuck and didn't know what to do. One thing that I remember is that God is always with me and that he has never failed. During Jeremiah's time as a prophet, he had encountered strong resistance from the people of Israel. They didn't like his messages and they mistreated him for speaking the truth. And despite enduring ridicule, imprisonment, and even physical harm, Jeremiah stayed committed to, to what God had called him to do. He kept preaching about the consequences of people's sins, but he also shared a message of hope, saying that if they were turned to God, they could experience restoration and redemption. There is power in prayer. We see in Jeremiah 15 that Jeremiah's relationship with God was characterized by prayer and communion. In the midst of his trial, Jeremiah turned to God in prayer, pouring his heart out and seeking guidance and strength. He expresses doubts, fears, and frustrations to God. Yet he also expressed his faith and trust in God's love. Despite the challenges that he had faced, Jeremiah never wavered in his commitment to God. He remained obedient to God's commands, even when it was difficult or impossible. He continued to proclaim God's truth with boldness and courage, knowing that he was fulfilling his purpose and serving the Lord God. In the end, Jeremiah's faithfulness was under, and his prophecies ultimately came true. The people of Israel experienced the consequences of their disobedience, yet God remained faithful to his promises of restoration and redemption. Jeremiah's life serves as a powerful example of perseverance, faithfulness, and trust in God, even in the face of adversity. By examining the life of Jeremiah, we can learn valuable lessons about faithfulness, perseverance, and also prayer. As we seek to follow God's will for our lives, may we be inspired by Jeremiah's example and trust in God's faithfulness every step of the way. Thank you.